So I have been trying. My name is Bokezi for anyway. I have and I have been trying to just get back into my romance, the liking romance books because I used to love it so much back then when I was in boarding school. I read a lot of romance books that I think I broke. So I'm really trying to find that spark again. So I decided to read the Brown Sisters series, literary series by Talia Hibbert. And let's just say it was an amazing experience and I'll tell you why. So the Brown Sisters series has three books and it starts with Get a Life, Chloe Brown and Take a Hint, Danny Brown. Then finally, the last of the series which came out in 2021 is Act Your Age, Eve Brown. Although it's a literary series, these books can be read on their own and you, you don't have to follow <laughs> follow it the way I said it or the way it was released. No. You can pick up Act Your Age, Eve Brown first. You can pick up you can pick up Take a Hint, Danny Brown, you can pick up anyone, but I read it according to how it was it was released anyway because that's just me. I just like to follow the pattern sometimes. The pretty much these books are you can you can tell from the covers it's really color is really pretty and it's really nice. You can just really tell that it's a happy it, it has a happy ending and just a book that you just want to curl up and read and just smile and widen your eyes and blush <laughs> and blush like you know because it has a lot of the book is it's a romantic comedy so it's loaded with humor and there are lots of explicit scenes in this book so get ready and the titles pretty much give away much of the story what the story is going to be about so we're starting with get a life chloe brown chloe brown is the eldest of the three sisters and she, after a near-death experience she decided to be present in her life which is highly relatable if you ask me because a lot of us are just really existing just really living but we're not really living so we're not really present chloe is a computer nerd she likes to plan things she likes things done a certain way and all that so with her glasses on and all that so chloe brown decided first on her list to move out of her family house because why not <laughs> so she moved out first then she had a list of things that she wanted to do this list is highly relatable too if you ask me i'm just going to read it out to you i wrote it down the first on the list is enjoy a drunken night out ride a motorcycle go camping have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex travel with nothing but hand luggage and do something bad so chloe's idea of okay she has been living life like really planned out and she just really wants to do something edgy so that was her list so after she moved out of her friend's house she she enlisted the help of the superintendent in her building to help her achieve the goals in this list and you know like i say the rest is history so we'll move on to danica brown now her it's actually danny in the cover but the full name is danica and i like the name danica so Danica Brown. So Danica has a really interesting character. She does not want love. Yes, there's always a backstory to all this. So she doesn't want love because she has been disappointed in the past. So she just wanted someone that she would have, have she, she would have pleasant sex with and move on with her life. She doesn't want anything in surpass, any mushy mushy stuff. But she messed around and fell in love with a guy who read romance novels. Zach. Yeah. Danica tried to fight it. Danica just really tried to just tuck it away, but she couldn't. So then actor Age Eve Brown. Actor Age Eve Brown is I'm smiling because Eve is such a great ball of sunshine. She's really she's really funny. Eve is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Everything Eve does is really cute and funny as well. So after Age Eve Brown, Eve Eve lives still lives with her parents, unlike her sisters who are really smart and going about their life, they had their own boyfriends now and all that. Eve was actually still battling from one career to the other, just really trying to get her life together. And her friends were like, okay Eve, you can't be leaving off us again. You have to get a job, you have to act your age, you have to get yourself together. So Eve drove and she found herself a job at a bed and breakfast. 
and she fell in love with the owner of that bed and breakfast decor but not so easy why i said it there are a lot of hiccups first eve actually hit her boss ran over her, her boss by mistake obviously but it just really had been eve brown at that moment it was a mistake and a lot of things a lot of well wind and all that but eve managed to hook jacob who is actually in, just like Chloe Brown, he, he he plans things, he likes things a certain way, he doesn't really want people like Eve Brown really just mess up things around him. But you can't really get rid of someone like Eve Brown. So he couldn't help but fall in love with her. The, the three books combined are filled with so much humor and romantic stuff. All the mushy mushiness in it, you will find it in those books. And you just find yourself smiling, even though you don't want to, like, okay. And your eyes are really widening a lot because of the scenes in the book. And the writing is very simple, really, really simple and straight to the point. No need to just really run around the bush and all that. Just really straight to the point. Talia Hibbert's writing is really beautiful and highly relatable. relatable. It's contemporary, it's fresh, it's nice. Talia Hibbert employed the use of first person narrative to tell the stories. And each and her technique used over by she told the story from the point of view of each character, the main character and their love interest. So there's a lot of dramatic irony here because we actually know that these two people love each other. Like everybody know, except the two characters. So they have, so we have to just sit back and say, okay, we have to figure this out now and fast. So we already know that, okay, this person is hot for you, this person is hot for you. So the only thing you have to do right now is just come together. That's it. So that was really basically what the right how the writing style was i particularly love how talia hibbert really just talked in important social discussions with humor in a romantic book so you are actually laughing and learning about this love interest and just reading all the mushy stuff meanwhile you're actually learning a lot of things her characters are really people that you barely see in, in books so she writing about those characters the way they are and really expressing their their struggles in the best way possible, I drop my hat to Talia for this really nice effort. So I learned a lot from this book. Even though it's a romantic comedy, I learned a lot. And you know how much I love contemporary fiction because I just feel like, okay, they, they talk about a lot of social issues that are important. But Talia Hibbert did not disappoint me in that part. She really touched a lot of topics, really important topics. Like, for example, I learned about fibromyalgia. I learned about autism and women. I learned about dealing with grief and loss. So this book is really, really important if you ask me. And you can really read this book and enjoy it. All the emotions that come, comes with it. Yes, we can predict the ending, but it was a beautiful read if you ask me. Did I find my romance going back? Not really. I'll keep on reading. <laughs> I'll keep on reading. Tell me when you read this book. And if you have read this book, who is your favorite character? My favorite character is Eve because whenever I mention her name, I start smiling because she's a really funny character. She's funny, honestly. So I really like Eve. I, I, I can't really decide. I like Danny as well. And I like Chloe. So I really find a piece of me in each character. So I like the sisters. I really like them. So tell me your favorite character and do what to pick up this book and read. You can have the audio version, you can have the ebook version, you can have the physical copy, whatever. Just relax because the world is really dark so books like this really just gives, gives us a real sunshine in all of this so yeah with that i'll say goodbye to you for now because i'll be back soon do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to like this video share this video and please tell your friends about this book channel okay yeah until next time goodbye